didn't bring you here to clean animals. Liar! You know the rules. Did you really leave the hot tub looking like that? You need to say what you feel. She can't work right now. She's not bringing any income in. All this is all yours one day. All of this. Would you want to give all this up? Saw dudes, welcome back to the number one YouTube channel in the entire world. Today we're going to be talking about Brandon and Julia on 90 Day Fiance because they made a lot of oopsies and have a lot of drama and Betty is just running rampant. Yo, we got a loose Betty. Can someone do something about this mom? She's just out of control, bro. Christian says hi, by the way. He couldn't make it in today's video because he just moved into his new place and he's busy banging sleuths. So I'm going to be doing this video solo, my dudes. In our last video covering this couple, Betty absolutely freaked out when she heard the news that Brandon and Julia would possibly be getting married on Mother's Day weekend because that is, of course, Betty weekend and she doesn't want to share it with Julia, her future daughter-in-law. At this moment in time, it's 75 days until they are supposed to get married or Julia will have to go back to Russia. Let's look at that scene when Ron and Betty leave the farm and Brandon and Julia have the whole place to their self. A lot of stuff to get done. Call me if you need come anything. On, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on Call on, me Betty. if you need anything we gotta get and this. I'll be come in on. touch. All right, love you guys. Love you. So when mom and dad leave the farm, Brandon and Julia start drinking beer and making out around the farm and it's kind of funny to see this because he's 27 years old but this feels like their high school kids. Whoa, Brandon, check the hands, dude. It's kind of funny because your parents leave and then you start playing grab ass with Julia, but you know, you don't do it in front of them. Actually, I understand why you don't do it in front of them. I just think the situation's weird. Like all of a sudden it's like you switch and you're a completely different person as opposed to being like, yes, mommy and daddy. Oh no, I, I didn't attend to the pics today. I didn't have time. Oh, Julia and me wanted to cuddle. So I didn't have time to attend the pics. Like, dude, where's this dude? You should just be this dude all the time. And I feel like people would definitely like you more. Okay, so they're going for that classic Girls Gone Wild aesthetic where the cameraman is following them around and you can see his reflection in the mirror. It's so awkward. They're getting naked and then they're jumping in the hot tub. This is the scene that we saw from the trailer. So yeah, it's good to finally see the scene. I think it's kind of G sh and Julia comes out and is like, ha, and she's all naked and everything. Like, yeah, that's cool. Brandon jumped up at the opportunity, went and uh, they had a good night apparently. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Ron and Betty should leave the farm more often because this is the first time we've seen them like interact and have fun. And they're, they seem like they're actually a good couple as long as his parents are out of the picture. <laughs> but the problem is like, they're always gonna be in the picture because they're super overbearing. So Julia says, you are so bad boy in a very thick Russian accent. Honestly, this sent me, I started laughing at this. Next thing you know, Brandon jumps in the jacuzzi. They play epic music, like this is the biggest Dude, it's just two kids jumping in the backyard jacuzzi. Like, it's not that epic of a scene, but they're really laying it on thick. We're the kids of America. Like, the kids are finally free to do what they want, and it's a super epic moment. The morning after a hot tub time machine night with Julia, Brandon is feeding the dogs in the cages, and you just hate to see it. I hate to see all the animals in cages on this farm. I want to go there with my little brother and free all the animals and free Julia, but last video has got 50,000 likes. If you haven't seen the video we already made on Brandon and Julia and this whole couple, definitely go watch that video after this video because it absolutely slaps. Also, if that video gets 50,000 likes, me and my little brother, we're going on a road trip to Dimwitty, Virginia, and we will set Julia free. We'll buy her a ticket straight back to Russia. We might even go to Russia ourselves if we're allowed to do so. I don't know if Americans are allowed there right now. Probably not, but I would like to see Putin. Hopefully last night was a good preview of what life could be like for us after I've saved up enough money and we no longer are living on the farm. Here's the only problem with what you just said, Brandon. You're 27 years old. So do you need another 10 years to save up the appropriate amount of money to go off on your own? What have you been doing this past seven years or how, how long have you been working? If you worked after high school, you've had what, nine years to get it together financially? From Brandon's job as a pest control technician, he makes around $40,000 a year in the United States. If you live at home with mom and dad, you must not have a lot of expenses. Even though it's not a very high salary in the United States, over the span of nine years or seven years, you should have saved an appropriate amount to go off on your own. So I'm just really confused about this financial situation. So because the math in this financial struggle doesn't really make a lot of sense, I'm starting to think that it's not really about getting the appropriate money to move out on his own. I think he just is hesitant to do so because he's dependent on mommy and daddy. But now my parents are back home. <laughs> when are my parents gonna move out? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda sounds like Jim Carrey when he played the Riddler in Batman. Yo, mom and dad, I know this is like your house and your farm or whatever, but you guys should probably move out so that I can have more uh, hot tub time machine nights with my germ. Julia communicates to the audience that she really only has time alone with Brandon when the parents are away and she wants more time alone with Brandon. She enjoyed their time together, but when the parents are around, it's just toxic. Could have talked to you guys about a little something. Let's go this way. I got something to show you. Do we have to? Yes. I'm scared. 
Oh, Brandon and Julia are in trouble. Do you guys think they're going to get grounded or do you think they're going to take their fruit snack privileges away? We don't mind you guys enjoying the farm. We really don't. But you know the rules. Did you really leave the hot tub looking like that? This is peak Betty logic right here. She's not mad that they use the hot tub. She's mad that there's a crease on the top of the hot tub. Unbelievable. Brandon, you lived here your whole life. Don't you know that you should put the cover on properly on the hot tub? There shouldn't be any creases. The wind did that. I don't think the wind did that. That needs to get fixed. And you know that we have rules in the hot tub and we were really not happy. What's wrong? It's a little cloudy. Cloudy's not good. Cloudy's not good. Obviously, it's cloudy, Betty. He's been busting all kinds of nuts and Julie in the hot tub last night, bro. <laughs> all right? Brandon, give me some, dog. Dab me up. He's not really there. Did you guys wear clothes in the hot tub? No. You didn't wear clothes in the hot tub. That's not what messed up the water? I find it so strange how Betty treats them like they're children. How do you expect them to take themselves seriously or treat themselves like adults if you constantly treat them like children, one. Two, Julia is not your daughter, so don't try to reprimand her and be like, look at this water. What did you guys do last night? Did you wear clothes in the hot tub? Explain me sometime because I'm not the No clothes in the hot tub, okay? You need go this uh, without clothes? Without. Betty, there's already a little bit of a language barrier, plus you're actually a weirdo. Like, you're a freak, so I'm sure Julia has to really try to understand what's going on constantly around you because she gets so many mixed signals. But then... Towels to get in, to get out. I know, but why we not stay in the same room and this Viv is out close, this is fine. Snaps for Julia, it doesn't make any sense. So they're not allowed to sleep together in the same room, but they can be naked together in the hot tub. Betty, love to see the logic. Betty's way too comfortable and involved in her son's sexuality. I think you need to give him space and stop being a smother mother. You're starting to come off worse than Debbie is for Colt. It might seem like a little bit of mixed signals. Separate rooms, but naked in the hot tub, but the residue from the dryer sheets or the soap on your clothes, it really screws up the water and the pH. And so literally I end up having to drain the hot tub and that gets really old really fast. So Betty doesn't want them to wear clothes when they're in the hot tub because it creates a problem with the water and it's an inconvenience for her to have to clean up the mess that they'll make if they wear clothes in the hot tub. My question for her is, how is it an inconvenience for you if they sleep together in the same room? You guys ready for the answer? It doesn't inconvenience you if they sleep together in the same room. You're just a hypocrite. We use this for therapy. Uh, -huh. uh not for- Not entertainment. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. You use this hot tub for therapy and not entertainment. What do you think these kids are gonna do? They're 27, they're young, they're in love. Bro, of course they're gonna be f***ing in, in the hot tub. You're too late! The fucking has begun! No clothes, please. Mm -hmm. The other thing you shouldn't do in the water? Do you know what the other thing you're not supposed to do in the hot tub is? You know, don't you? Sexual intercourse? Honestly, it might be a good thing that Christian's not in this video because if he heard Betty say that, he would just go crazy. He would be right here just freaking out, yelling at the camera for about two minutes. So then Betty says the most cringe thing I've ever heard. She says, I'm not exactly sure the time or place when Brandon lost his virginity, but I can't tell you how many times I've had to drain that hot tub. Like, yo, Betty, I hope you don't know the time and place your son lost his virginity. Like, you're so weird. Why would you say that? Why would you know that? Um... Oversharing. What I do? You don't need to say what people want here. You need to say what you feel, what you think about this. I not say because this is not my my mother. This is not my home. But you need to say. So Julia brings up a great point that Brandon is a people pleaser and he says what other people want to hear and he's like, yes, mommy, yes, daddy. Here's the thing, Julia, he's not going to change. You chose to date a guy without a ball sack. The same guy that withheld vital information about his living conditions and his financial situation. Sucks to see, we all root for you, but yeah, this guy's probably never gonna change. He's probably always gonna have a little pussy sack of balls. You need a guy with the big sack of balls. Julia says, we only have 90 days, it's a very short time. I changed my whole life for him. I hope he changes his life for me. Julia goes on to say that if Brandon wants this to work, he needs to become stronger and change certain things about his life. Comment below what you guys think about this. Do you think that he will make the change for Julia or do you think he's gonna still be a mama's boy for his entire life. Now let's look at that scene when Ron and Betty are talking and they're absolutely fuming at the fact that Brandon and Julia aren't carrying their weight around the farm. If they both give us a hand, I mean, we can all share some of this responsibility. But if I go in there and she, he's in her room serving her tea, I think I'm going to lose it. <laughs>
Gosh darn it, son. You need to stop making tea for your fiance and trying to work on your relationship and start shoveling the horse poop. What are you doing? And gosh darn it, Julia, why do you think we agree to be on the show and fly your ass from Russia to our farm? We get free labor out of you. What are you doing? You're not carrying your weight around the farm. I also find it strange they're so adamant about Julia doing all these responsibilities. They call it chores, but realistically, she'd be working on the farm, and that's what Brandon's doing. He's working on the farm. For Julia's case, she doesn't have a work visa in the US, so is she allowed to work on the farm? Food for thought. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. So, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if Ron and Betty just thought of Julia as free labor. We've seen the way they treat animals. They have these beautiful dogs in cages, and it's just like, dude, someone needs to free these dogs, straight up. I agree. Let's get these guys fed. Uh, Julia's been living with us for almost a month now, and uh, I've enjoyed having her. But now, Brandon has be, is not taking care of his responsibilities any longer. Hey, Ron, I'm just going to stop you right there. It's not Julia's fault that Brandon isn't taking care of his tasks that he should be taking care of on the farm. He's a big boy. He's 27 years old. You need to start holding him accountable. And maybe one day he'll leave the farm. But I don't think you guys want that. I think you guys want to control your son and you want to stifle him. And you want him to always stay and be your little farm hand and be your helper. Because I can tell because he hasn't been carrying his weight for about, what, a month on the farm? Next thing you know, you guys start bitching and moaning. You're blaming Julia. You're going to start a witch hunt for the girl from Russia that came over here that you used as free labor. And it's her fault that Brandon is less productive. I don't think so, buddy. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but recently Brandon and his whole family did an interview with Sean, the terrible host for TLC that should be replaced by your wet sock. They did an interview together and Sean was incredibly biased. They blamed every single situation on Julia. I'm going to speak freely on this. Sean is a terrible interviewer and she always sticks up for all the American cast members and none of the four in one. She did the same thing with Rosemary Vega. Like, yo, hate to break it to you, Sean, Brandon, and the entire fam bam, but Julia's the victim. Don't get it twisted. Ron says on the farm, we have chores that need to be done, and Brandon has not been doing his chores, and he's very angry about this. And then Betty, the rural Karen, chimes in and says, I know that he wants to spend time with Julia, but the chores don't stop. Yo, Betty and Ron, if they're not carrying their weight on the farm, and that's how you feel, why don't you just kick them out of the farm? I'm sure there's Airbnbs in Virginia. I'm also quite confident Brandon has enough money to rent a place in Virginia for a month so you should just kick them out if that's how you feel before work brandon comes into julia's room and starts baby talking her he brings her tea and i think a croissant and it's just pretty cringe to see he's like i do i want to go to work without you and she's like i this is so cute I that's how they're talking and dude I, I don't know I don't know if I want to put this out there so you guys have footage of me baby talking Brandon goes on to say in a baby voice you don't have to do anything if you don't want to you're a princess yeah she's the princess and is the farm the kingdom bro <laughs> is that what she inherits all of this can be yours Julia you are the princess of this farm oh my god I'd rather be the princess of like an apartment in France do you guys think that Julia would rather be a princess of a farm in Virginia or of a little small apartment in the middle of Russia comment below your thoughts I think it's going to be a problem. I think it's going to be an issue. I really do. Unless Julia grows to love the farm, and that would well, be a win-win. That's what I hope for. I hope that she has a change of ways, so to speak, and gets involved with this and starts having appreciation. Because, uh, you know, otherwise, I, I don't know if it's going to work. Ron, you're so lost in the sauce. This girl doesn't need to change her ways. You and your creepy ass wife need to change your ways. Julia needs to start showing appreciation or else it's not going to work. That's not your call to make. This is between Julia and your son, Brandon. This is their relationship. You don't get a say on who your kid can be with, you weird, twisted f If anything, you and your wife need to change your ways. And if I were you guys, I'd be kissing Julia's feet because she has a good sense of style and you happen to need a good interior designer or just a designer or anyone that's on Pinterest because your farm looks like sh one day we'd love to see them take over the farm. I mean, I want to see this work. Ron wants to see this work. And hopefully she's not going to try and have Brandon separate from us instead We'll be gaining a daughter instead of losing a son. Guys, you heard it here first. They don't want Julia and Brandon to leave the farm. I can't believe she just outed herself like that with a smile on her face. Like, dude, you don't even know what you just did. In the beginning, you said, oh, yeah, you guys can stay on the farm until you get, you know, financially independent. And then you can go off on your own. We'd love to see it. We just want to support you guys in the meantime. No, you don't. You just outed yourself. You want them to be prisoners on this farm. And you want to extort Julia as free labor on your farm. That's exactly what you want to do. That's hilarious. Someone needs to call PETA and free all those dogs, dude. We've got to take care of her as well as him. She can't work right now. She's not bringing any income in. 
Oh, snaps. Ron just played himself, too. She's not allowed to work in the United States, but you have no problem with her working on the farm. You give her work to do on the farm, but branded as chores. It's still work. She's working on the farm and she's not allowed to do that in the United States. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's so fake and hypocritical to paint the picture like you're the best parents and you're the cutest little family and you're trying to just support the kids until they, you know, get some money and they can move out on their own, but you're not. You're actually manipulating them into staying on the farm with you forever. The reality is why you're here and why you're eating and why you stay warm, you gotta do something. Next thing you know, Ron say that they can't do it all. We need to talk to the kids about this. Well, what about the farmhand? Where has she been for the past month? You know, the farmhand you introduced with the disgusting hairless cat. Remember that lady? Where has she been for the past month? Is she a fake worker? Does she not really work on the farm? That's interesting because I heard a rumor that this farm isn't actually your farm and it's someone's sister's farm. It's either Betty's sister's farm or Ron's sister's farm, but they don't actually own this farm. I would love to know if that's true or not. Let's look at that scene when Ron and Betty confront Brandon and Julia. Ah, speaking good of, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You sleep well? Yeah. Slept late. You tried. Right. You tried. Well, keep trying. I know you can do this. Keep trying. I know you can do this. Can you be any more condescending when you're speaking to Julia, dude? You guys say nice things like, did you sleep well? Like you're genuinely concerned. And then right after you throw a shitty dick, like you slept late again, like, Whoa, that's a lot to walk into early morning. After a very loaded breakfast, Julia goes out to help Betty with uh, the farm work because she's trying to make an effort for Brandon, but Brandon is not sacrificing anything or making an effort for Julia. So yeah, she's actually agreed to be a free helping hand, free labor on the farm. At the same time that Julia is hanging out with her monster-in-law, Betty, feeding the goats, Brandon and Ron have a great conversation. Let's look at it. You gotta understand, all this is all yours one day, all of this. Would you want to give all this up? <laughs> oh my God, I love this. He's talking like he's Jeff Bezos and he's handing down Amazon to his son. Dude, you're on a shitty farm. Yo, Ronald McDonald, we all got Instagram, so we're comparing our lives every single day to rich influencers in LA. No one wants your shit farm bro like are you serious this can all be yours one day son you just have to put up with me and your toxic mother your entire life and have us chase away every single girl you bring home but you can one day own this piece of shit farm in virginia Julia is certainly having an effect on Brandon. Julia is certainly having an effect on Brandon. No, I don't think that it's Julia. I think the kid just has social media and he's realized that, yo, I don't want to be like my parents, which is totally respectable. Like, I, I get that. I, I wouldn't want to be your parents. Actually, no one wants to be like your parents. I'm interrupting this video to bring you today's sponsor myself. I've recently been posting on TikTok and I've actually come clean about the fact that I'm Nicolas Cage's son on TikTok. So you guys should follow me on TikTok. Ron says that Brandon is in love with Julia, but he's changing for her and not for himself. I don't think that's the case at all, Ron. I think what happened was your son and Julia got together and they were like, we need to think of a plan because we don't want to live on the farm with these weirdos our entire life. Next thing you know, they both made cameos. And by the way, you know who else made a cameo? I did, your wet sock, number one YouTube channel in the world. You can book me on cameo right now for $39.99. That is a fair price. It is way less money than all these creatures on the show. And I get better cameos than every single one of them. We are aspiring to be the number one cameo creator in the entire world on top of being the number one YouTube channel in the world. So if you guys want to rip some cameos, Hit me up. I'm so excited to make cameos for you guys. My link will be in my bio. Also, it will be a pinned comment on this video. I'll make cameos about literally everything, but no butthole stuff. That's my one rule. Brandon actually says some good stuff here. He says that the farm is his dad's dream to pass on the farm to him, but it was never his dream. His dream is Julia, so he wants to make sacrifices for Julia and make her happy. Now, you can say all the words you want, but actions speak louder than words do, so I think we all like love hearing that, but we need to see proof. So after a long day of free labor for Julia, she encounters another loaded conversation with Brandon's parents later in the nighttime. Let's take a look at it. We need to talk about a few things that's going on here at the farm that quite honestly, we're not real happy with. In the mornings, you don't seem to want to come out and spend any time with us anymore or help dad with the animals. Well, well I don't even see you when you get up in the morning because I'm out there doing animals. But did you guys hear that? Ron just said he's doing the animals. Because I'm out there doing animals. That is so sus. And I know Betty sucks, Ron, but don't take it out on the poor animals, bro. What the f but when you do get up, you go make tea for Julia, and then you go to Julia's room to give her tea, and we don't see you for a period of time, so you absolutely are not doing anything. 
You go to Julia's room and make tea. Why do you have to throw Julia in front of the bus like that, Ron? Why don't you make your kid take responsibility for his own actions or lack of actions? Why do you put it on Julia? She's right there. You're talking about her like she's not in the room and she's in the room. She's being polite. She's being quiet. You guys aren't her parents, so she has enough respect to expect her significant other Brandon to stick up for her, but he doesn't stick up for her and she just sits there. It's like, you guys are bullying her, bro. Julia finally breaks her silence and communicates to Ron and Betty that she is not a morning person. She's always hated waking up early in the morning. And then Ron and Betty say something on the lines of, well, the animals always wake up at this time in the morning. So you need to wake up at this time in the morning. So you absolutely are not doing anything. Okay, for the first time probably ever, I'm gonna defend Brandon right now. Brandon has a full-time job, so Bron, you can't really say he's doing nothing. It's not his job to help you guys out with your job. Where's the farmhand with the moldy cat? Is she not working anymore? Did you replace her with Julia because Julia's free labor? Why don't you just hire a farmhand and pay them a decent wage, you cheap fuck? Julia snaps and says, I've never done this before. Now I try to be nice and do it. And she say, I need to work more. I come here to marry your son, not to live here and take care of your stuff. Hey, Ron, Betty, hate to break it to you guys, but it's not Julia's job job to look after your farm. It's not your son's job to look after your farm. It's your job to look after your farm. You're not taking things seriously. I try. Yeah, I'm confused. What do you mean you try? I bring tea to Julia in the morning, but then she's just like, come, Don't say that it's my mistake. Come back. But that can't Brandon, happen. Come on, stop. Brandon's not a real man. He's a man child. You can see that by how he throws his fiance in front of the bus like that. Oh, you're gonna blame it on her. You don't take responsibility for your own actions for doing your little chores around your mommy and daddy's farm. Bro, can you believe that he just threw her in front of the bus like that? Oh my God. It baffles me that his parents still treat him like a child, but he still allows himself to be treated like a child. And he actually gets off on it. You can't keep him in the bedroom in the morning, he has to get up early. And uh, he can't bring you tea in the morning. And it says, I don't know what to do. Either my parents are gonna be mad at me or Julie is gonna be mad at me. No, dude, I mean, we're all mad at you. Like, honestly, these people just give farmers a bad name because they're just that weird. How weird is it for a dad to take away tea privileges? Like, yo, you can't bring tea in anymore. You can't come in his room anymore. What a weird situation to be in. I can only imagine what I would do. I actually, I know what I would do. I would actually pack up my suitcase and just go get an Airbnb because this is the 21st century and you can do that, so. I don't know why they're still there. All in all, closing thoughts. We need to free all the dogs on this farm. Julia has a very loaded situation on the farm. It sucks for her. I think Brandon should have just dated a girl on farmersmeet.com when his parents made a profile for him on there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Comment below, subscribe. Let's be a friend. Let's be a friend. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now. <laughs>